Hey there and welcome to the Code Wrinkles channel. In this video, I would like to talk to you about the redirect to login hell that we have in Blazor 8. And it's actually not really a hell, but it's totally different than it worked before. And also the templates that come with Visual Studio are very, very misleading. But I want to help you out with this and I want to show you how exactly we can implement this very basic but very important redirect to login feature in the new Blazor applications. So first of all, let me show you what the problem actually is, because if we go, this is the standard template of Blazor with individual user authentication. And if we take a look at this route CS, we see that we have this uh, found context and authorized view. And then we have this not authorized and we have this redirect to login component, which is how we would usually do a redirect to login in previous Blazor, Blazor versions. Unfortunately, this redirect to login actually doesn't work in the template at all. And let me show you what I mean by that. For instance, here is this redirect to login component which just redirects to login. However, the thing here is that I have placed a breakpoint here and I will run this application and you will see that this breakpoint is actually never hit even if I am not authenticated. So let's run the app. So here we have the app and you see that I am not authenticated at all, but this breakpoint was not hit. And in fact, no matter how often I do refresh this page, I am never redirected to login because I would expect to see here a URL in the browser with slash account slash login. However, this is not the case. So how do we do this in the new Blazor? First, let's go to this login component and here I want to do two things. First of all, I really hate this idea of having this account login. I just want to have this component be routed to the login URL. And one other thing is if we implement this redirect to login, if you are not authenticated, we need a way to make sure that we are still able to actually access this login component. So I will add hit this attribute with allow anonymous. And that's pretty much it with the login component. And now let's go for the fun part. And let me tell you this, in this new Blazor model, authentication or this idea of redirecting to login and the way that the entire authentication and authorization is handled here is more similar to regular old school MVC applications than to the former Blazor applications. And if you are like me that I haven't touched MVC applications for years, working mostly on APIs and Blazor apps recently, that was kind of like a very frustrating moment. So let me show you exactly how you can implement this. And the trick here is that we actually need to configure the authentication cookie to contain this information about the redirecting. So what I will do, I will create here a new class and I will call this class cookie events. Here I want to inherit from the class which is called cookie authentication events. And because I have inherited this class, I can override this redirect to login. And here I can set exactly what would be the login redirect that I want to have. The next step is to wire everything up in the DI container. So what I will do here, I will come back to the program.cs and first of all, we need to add our cookie events class as a service to the DI container. The last thing that we do is that we need to configure the cookie itself and we can achieve this by having this builder services configure application cookie and here we have a lot of different type of options, but here we can override and specify that, hey, for the event type, I want to use my cookie events class. And finally, the last and very important step, because without it, it wouldn't work, actually has to do with this imports.razor. And in this imports.razor, we can add this attribute authorize. And now if we run the application, you can see that I have been really redirected to the login page. So now whenever I want to go to the home page, if I am not authenticated at all, let me just go here and just refresh this page and you will see that I am automatically redirected. So you see, it's not really that complicated, but it's totally different than it was in Blazor before. And that's why I think it's important to understand exactly that in this new programming model with this new Blazor SSR, we need to think a little bit different about how our Blazor applications work. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and like this video if you enjoyed it. This will help others discover it easier. And obviously subscribe to the channel if you didn't do this already. And if you have any type of question or just want to get in touch with me, just head over to the comment section and leave a comment and I would be more than happy to get in touch with you. This being said, thank you very much for watching and until the next time, I wish you the very best.